Sarah from Creative Ramblings. On tonight's episode, I am showing you how to make an inexpensive, easy window treatment that you are gonna love. Let's jump right into the project. I'm gonna walk you through the materials and exactly how to make this window treatment. So what we're gonna start with here tonight is a piece of foam board. So you can get this at uh, any store, at a craft store. It's um, the white poster board, but it's nice and thick. So it's not bending, it's not pliable. These are really inexpensive. So you're gonna need at least one of these pieces of foam board, maybe more depending on the size of your window. We are gonna take this foam board and turn it into a cornice or a valance uh, that you can hang at the top part of your window. These are great if you change your mind uh, on window treatments every now and then. Maybe it lasts a year or two and then you wanna change it out. Great, you could just make another one. Um, these are also renter friendly. We are not drilling any holes in any walls. So if you're currently renting, um, this might be a great option for you. Okay, so in addition to that foam board, you're gonna need some kind of ruler or straight edge. I find that uh, uh, yardstick works really well a utility knife. You can also use a craft knife, but I find that this makes a little bit of a deeper cut. So a utility knife works and um, some kind of pen for our first, first step here. Now you're gonna wanna measure the window that you're using. I'm putting this up in my bathroom, so it's a small window. And the window itself is about 24 inches wide. And I am making my cornice box up on top to be at 28 inches wide because I want it to hang over the sides just a little bit. So I'm in luck here. My piece of foam board is exactly 28 inches long, so I don't need to cut it any shorter. Then you wanna decide um, how big you want it to be on top. And since this is a smaller window, I've decided I only want it to be about eight inches tall. Uh, and that's gonna, so it's gonna span the whole top of my window and be about eight inches tall. So I am going to measure out on this exactly eight inches, and then I am going to cut out a strip. All right, so I've got some lines drawn here, and I'm actually gonna keep my yardstick on there so I can cut a nice straight line. Now I am working on a wood workbench here, so I don't mind if my blade goes down and uh, accidentally cuts the table, but uh, if you are working on maybe a kitchen table or something that's nicer than that, Make sure you have something underneath so you're not making marks in your table. Now once you've got a slit in the foam board, you can just kind of bend this, and I'm gonna come around to the other side and just cut it on this side. This cuts really easily all the way through. All right, so this is the front of this cornice that we're making. Now we're gonna make the sides of it. And my sides, I want this to stick out about three inches from the wall. So I am going to cut another piece of board here that is the same height as this one, so this eight inches. And to do that, I'm just gonna line this up here. Let's see, right about there. And I'm going to cut another strip of foam board the same length. and then cut it from the back, just like we did on that first piece, oops. All right, then this piece I don't need, so I'm gonna put this down, save that for another project. Okay, so I've got my front, now I need my sides, and I want this to stick out three inches. So I am going to cut, actually I'm gonna mark first before I cut, I'm gonna cut, or I'm gonna mark three inch pieces here. So we've got one, two, and I'm going to cut four of these three inch pieces. And I'll show you in a moment what we're gonna use those other two pieces for. So I'm gonna use my straight edge again to cut out these three inch pieces here. All right, so then this piece can go. So we've got our four pieces here that are three inches each. Now we're gonna start to assemble our cornice. So I'm gonna move this fabric out of the way because we don't need that just yet. 
I have a hot glue gun here. Now, normally I would not recommend making a cornice box or anything furniture-like with hot glue, but with a cornice like this, this is gonna be up out of the way, nobody's gonna be touching it, um, and it's, it's going to be temporary and decorative. So hot glue is going to work perfectly. So we're gonna take a piece of this, the end piece there, we're gonna put a little hot glue on the edge and attach it to the side here. Nice and easy. Now to keep this square, I want to add some little support pieces on the middle, or on the inside here. So I'm gonna take one of these three inch pieces and I'm just gonna cut two strips off the side. Size doesn't matter too much. But what these are gonna do is sit right here to just kind of hold this square. So put a little hot glue on there and push it in there to hold it square. And then do the same with this. It just makes your cornice hold its shape a little bit better. Now, the last thing we're gonna do is we're going to add a piece right here. So take another one of your three inch pieces and cut it in half, because you're gonna need two of these. This doesn't have to be perfect either, because we're not gonna see this part. But this is going to be the piece that helps you attach this cornice to the wall. So this piece is going to sit on here just like this. So again, a little bit of hot glue on the edges. And then we put this on top. It's beginning to look like a cornice. So we're gonna do the same thing for the other side and then move on to the next step. Okay, so we have the whole structure of this all put together. So this is what it looks like. This is gonna be the front side that we see on the outside of the window. It's gonna stick out from the sides a little bit. And then these pieces here are going to help us attach it to the wall. So now we're gonna cover it with some batting and some fabric and uh, make it look all pretty. So you are gonna need some batting. It comes in a bag like this. I've got a link to it uh, in the materials, just list in the description of this video. But you are gonna to wanna to take your batting and cut out a piece that fits around this. So it doesn't need to be too thick. We want it to come just to, let's see, just to the edge here. You don't want it to go on this piece that attaches to uh, the wall because we want that to be nice and smooth. So we can trim off a little bit here And then, if you've watched my videos before, you know how much I love this gray or this uh, spray glue. This works great as a temporary adhesive. So this is gonna help us just hold that batting in place while we get everything else on. So I'm gonna pick it up, I'm gonna spray just a little bit on here and then put this right back down. There we go. And then I'm gonna spray it on the edges a little bit here and bring it up. There. And I'm just gonna trim a little bit off the excess, or off the edges, and then we can move on to the fabric. So my bathroom that I'm putting this in is mostly gray and white with some pops of greens and yellows. And so I chose a pretty neutral gray fabric. Not super exciting, but it works for my bathroom. So tell me about um, tell me about your decor style. If you were making a window treatment, what kind of fabric would you choose? So I just chose this little kind of a small print gray. This is just cotton, really inexpensive cotton fabric. And it was, I actually bought a yard because I thought maybe I would make some more of these. But this is about 36 inches of fabric by maybe 12, something like that. Uh, but all you need is I need to be able to set this down on top of it. I want the fabric to be a little bit longer than my batting, and I want it to be able to come all the way up like this. So we're just gonna put a little hot glue along the edges, and make sure the hot glue is adhering the fabric to the foam. The batting is just there to add some softness to the edges, but the bond is gonna be really good if it's between the fabric and the foam board. So we are gonna go all the way around 
attaching the fabric to the foam board. Okay, so this one here has all of the fabric tacked down. It's starting to look like a beautiful cornice, a beautiful window treatment on the front here. So we've got all of this glued down. And on the side here, I wanna show you something to do that's gonna help this hang really well. You're gonna pull this over and we're just gonna glue on the side. So kind of fold them over like you might be wrapping a gift and hot glue those sides on really well. Okay, so we've got the sides glued down. Now we want to cut this fabric a little bit because we're going to adhere these with command strips. Remember I said they were temporary and you can take these down. So again, if you're renting, this is a phenomenal project. And ideally, oh, I got hot glue everywhere. Ideally, you want the foam board to have the command strip on it and you don't want the fabric to get in the way. So what I did is I just cut a little piece of fabric away so that we can see the foam board here. And then we're just gonna add some hot glue all the way around, securing the rest of that fabric down. Okay. So I think we've got everything secure. What I love about this is nobody's really gonna see the backside of this. So if I've got some extra glue strings, that's okay. So this is our completed cornice, you guys. That was so easy to make. It's really, really lightweight which means we can hang it with command strips on the wall. And um, I've linked up in the materials list uh, these command strips right here. These are actually um, picture hanging strips. So they have a Velcro-like material on them and you put one end on here and one end on the wall. So what we're gonna do is we take two of the strips, we put the material together and then I'm gonna peel off the backing and add one right here. So you see how that goes right on the foam board? That just ensures you're gonna get a really good stick where if you were to put it on top of the fabric, I worry that maybe it's not gonna stick as well. But right on here, it's gonna be great. But don't take that other piece off yet till we get to where we want this to go. And then I've done the same thing over here. And remember we put these bracing pieces on the inside here? That's really good so when you're securing this, you're not losing the shape of your cornice, okay? That's it. So I am gonna take you into my tiny little bathroom and show you how to hang this up and how much this will do for your window. Let's go. All right, so this is the little bathroom here. I've got a door, the window straight ahead. And then I do have some artwork on the wall. There's the sink over on that side. And then a little bit more of that kind of green neutral looking art over there. So this is where we are going to hang the cornice. Okay, so up here, we are going to put the cornice that we made. And so I've got the command strips on the back there. Now's the time to peel off that backing. And we're just gonna put it in place. And it's going to stick, I want it to cover the top of the window a little bit. We're gonna make sure it's level. And then just push it in place. And that's all there is to it. I do have this other little curtain here more just for privacy, but this is a neutral color. This is nice and neutral and it matches my walls. And then I've got the color on either sides of the bathroom. So easy to do, so easy to hang up and you can make this in any color you want. I wanna thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun making that cornice. And like I said, I'm making them for my craft room as well. And I know after you make one that you're gonna to wanna to make some more. They're really easy and they add so much style to a window.